Well, it is a hot, stuffy day in Amarillo, Texas. Back at the old lot, waiting in line for trailer inspections. Doing a little study of the Word. And I've got my Bible, it's halfway done. <laughs> I've been working on projects and this one's come kind of slow because it's my own. But I thought I'd show you the anatomy of a Bible rebind. A lot of people don't realize this. Now this one's not complete by any means, but this is the paperback uh, Bible that I've been using as a daily reader. And it'll be my jail Bible eventually. But when you rebind the Bible, it gets taken down to nothing. And then uh, this one is a paperback, so it's not a sewn binding. And those black lines going across there are where we cut divots, put the thread in there, ample amount of glue, and then the book cloth. And then come the ribbons. Probably not the best of light in here for this. And you wind up with the text block that is, you know, actually the Bible. And then the, <laughs> kind of hard to do. This is the actual cover that's been made. I've still got to stitch it and do a couple of things. Got to emboss my name on it. But I am just pretty happy with how this one has come out. But there are tabs right here. And if I can do it one-handed, get glue down on those tabs, and then you glue them in place. And I'm not going to be able to do it one-handed, but it'll wind up closing, and then you'll wind up with that when it's done. And of course, they'll be glued in place and some cover sheets, we'll get to all that eventually. But kind of the anatomy of what takes place in a basic Bible rebind. I stand in awe of thy word. That's what the psalmist said. Lord bless you.